this right here is what's causing the lean epidemic in regards to fake drink. Stay off the streets. Do not buy anything unless it's from your doctor. Even then, I would stay away from your doctor. But the point being here is that K-Roll is used a lot in rap songs. It's talked about frequently. And the fact of the matter is this itself is the carrier liquid of fentanyl, nitrosines, many, many other Chinese chemicals that are killing and polluting thousands, if not millions, of our own citizens of the world and the United States as well. So K-Roll is this, you can see, zero gram high fructose you know, syrup shit. I really, honest to God, don't know what it's all made of. You can see it's just made of regular sugar and it's almost like a drinkable vegetable oil. My mom said they used to put this shit on their pancakes back when she grew up in the city. So, I mean, you know, I have never used this shit, but um, I know people who, you know, unfortunately have utilized this substance to make fake drink. So I don't know how the hell they do it, but basically... This shit has caused thousands and thousands of deaths. You have to be very careful when dealing with anything, especially if you think, oh, okay, well, I'm getting a good deal. Okay, well, it has the bottle, it has the seal, it has the um, pharmaceutical label. It's a prescription. I saw my guy get it from the pharmacy. Either way, no matter what they're doing, they're going to fake it. They're going to fake it, and you're going to die from what they're taking. So please stay away from just lean codeine in general. It's upsetting to say, but... You know, you can't even get it from your doctors anymore because of the pollution of this. People will mix this with some purple, you know, flavoring agents, some red dye number 40, some blue number three, some shit like that. And they'll put some crazy ass chemicals in here. People will drink it, they'll die. And then, oh no, they died from lean, even though it was actually just some cooked up fentanyl hooch like uh, moonshine back in the prohibition days. And unfortunately, everything gets bad names. So, now, if you want to go pick up your pain medicine at your local pharmacy, it's going to be four times the price that it was three months ago. Just ask me because I have to go pick it up. Unfortunately, this is the world we live in. Pain patients are not treated as they should. And things like simple K-Roll for $3 can kill you if you're unknowingly drinking something. So if you're in the party scene, if you think you're a rapper, or, oh, I'm cool, I'm sipping something, you're not. You're going to fucking sip something to death and you're gonna be in a coffin. Coffins aren't cool, it sucks. So don't die, stay alive, know this shit, say no to Cairo. And at the end of the day, stay off the streets. If you have pain problems, go to your doctor. Never, ever, ever, ever keep these problems to yourself. That only leads to harder core issues. Stay safe, y'all.